Picnic, Wikipedia article audio. A picnic is a meal taken outdoors as part of an excursion ideally in scenic surroundings, such as a park, lakeside, or other place affording an interesting view, or else in conjunction with a public event such as preceding an open-air theater performance, and usually in summer. Etymology Picnics are usually meant for the late mornings or midday breakfasts, but could also be held as a luncheonette or a dinner event. Descriptions of picnics show that the idea of a meal that was jointly contributed and was enjoyed out of doors was essential to a picnic from the early 19th century. Picnics are often family-oriented but can also be an intimate occasion between two people or a large get-together such as company picnics and church picnics. It is also sometimes combined with a cookout, usually a form of barbecue, either grilling, braising, baking, or a combination of all of the above. Related Historical Events On romantic and family picnics a picnic basket and a blanket are usually brought along. Outdoor games or some other form of entertainment are common at large picnics. In established public parks, a picnic area generally includes picnic tables and possibly other items related to eating outdoors, such as built-in grills, water faucets, garbage containers, and restrooms. Cultural Representations of Picnics Some picnics are a potluck, an entertainment at which each person contributed some dish to a common table for all to share. When the picnic is not also a cookout, the food eaten is rarely hot, instead taking the form of deli sandwiches, finger food, fresh fruit, salad cold meats and accompanied by chilled wine or champagne or soft drinks. In film The first usage of the word is traced to the 1692 edition of Tony Willis, Origins de la Langue Française, which mentions picnic as being of recent origin, it marks the first appearance of the word in print. The term was used to describe a group of people dining in a restaurant who brought their own wine. The concept of a picnic long retained the connotation of a meal to which everyone contributed something. Whether picnic is actually based on the verb picker which means pick or peck with the rhyming neek meaning thing of little importance is doubted, the Oxford English Dictionary says it is of unknown provenance. In Fine Art the word picnic first appeared in English in a letter of the Gallicized Lord Chesterfield in 1748, who associates it with card playing, drinking and conversation, and may have entered the English language from this French word. The practice of an elegant meal eaten out of doors, rather than an agricultural worker's dinner in a field, was connected with respite from hunting from the Middle Ages. The excuse for the pleasurable outing of 1723 in Franz Wallemoyne's painting is still offered in the context of a hunt. In literature Though it may have appeared in a 17th century dictionary as picnic, the actual usage began as peak on niche meaning to pick a place, an isolated spot where family or friends could enjoy a meal together away from the distractions, demands, and public nature of a communal life. The term morphed into picnic and after years of usage entered the official French language. Despite having been thoroughly debunked, a spurious etymology linking the origin of the word to lynchings of African Americans in the American South continues to resurface from time to time. In music Gallery After the French Revolution in 1789, Royal Parks became open to the public for the first time. Picnicking in the parks became a popular activity amongst the newly enfranchised citizens. Early in the 19th century, a fashionable group of Londoners formed the Picnic Society. 
members met in the Pantheon on Oxford Street. Each member was expected to provide a share of the entertainment and of the refreshments with no one particular host. Interest in the society waned in the 1850s as the founders died. From the 1830s, Romantic American landscape painting of spectacular scenery often included a group of picnickers in the foreground. An early American illustration of the picnic is Thomas Cole's The Picnic of 1846. In it, a guitarist serenades the genteel social group in the Hudson River Valley with the Catskills visible in the distance. Cole's well-dressed young picnickers having finished their repast, served from splint baskets on blue and white china, stroll about in the woodland and boat on the lake. The image of picnics as a peaceful social activity can be utilized for political protest, too. In this context, a picnic functions as a temporary occupation of significant public territory. A famous example of this is the pan-European picnic held on both sides of the Hungarian-Austrian border on the August 19, 1989 as part of the struggle towards German reunification. In 2000, a 600-mile-long picnic took place from coast to coast in France to celebrate the first Bastille Day of the new millennium. In the United States, likewise, the July 4 celebration of American independence is a popular day for a picnic. In Italy, the favorite picnic day is Easter Monday. A book of verse beneath the bough, a loaf of bread, a jug of wine, and thou, beside me singing in the wilderness, ah, wilderness were paradise enow. The rat brought the boat alongside the bank, tied it up helped awkward mole safely ashore, and swung out the picnic basket. The mole begged to be allowed to unpack it all by himself. He took out all the mysterious packets one by one and arranged their contents, gasping oh my! Oh my! at each fresh surprise. A table on the dock awaits picnickers at Lake Providence, Louisiana, 2013. United States Army officers and their families having a picnic at Fort Thomas, Arizona, in 1886. Picnic in a Wooded Area Picnic Area in Haute-Savoy, Autumn 2012 Picnic Area next to the Nature Center at YMCA Camp Bernie Picnic Shelter at Indian Springs State Park